Welcome back to 80scomics.com for the review of The Warlord, number 37, from September of 1980. I love the Disco Spectacular cover. This is a fabulous cover and a wonderful issue, yet another wonderful issue, of The Warlord featuring Travis Morgan and Shakira, who I think is Mike Grell's favorite lovely ladies of The Warlord. Shakira turns into a cat when you're not looking, and then runs away, because that's what cats do. It kind of looks like she's wearing one of those cat, like, dog collars. Or cat, do they put those on cat? I have no idea. We have one of those on my dog right now. It looks ridiculous, and it runs into things and, like, pushes chairs around. Because it's an idiot. But this cat turns into her, so clearly that cat's not an idiot. Let's move on. Because in this issue, the warlord decides to tackle not just a horse. But a flying horse. Look at that, he's riding the flying horse. Ride the horse. A horse of a different color, but it's white, so it's not really different. It's a white fly, never mind, whatever. Hey, Bubble Yum. That kid is creepy. Ride him, cowboy! All right, there goes the warlord, and Shakira watches him go. She actually tries to chase him down, because the warlord flies to his castle on top of this rock, whatever that thing, jagged spire of rock, that's what it's called. And, like, that's, you know that's not going to be a good idea. <laughs> like, he should know better than this, but, you know, it's it's his book. So the warlord's going to fly to this thing, and Shakira tries to chase him, but she is intercepted by this weird uh, half, what is, it, what is it, what do you call those things? I would have just called it a weird-ass freak of nature, but she calls it a centaur, because I guess, I guess that's technically what it is. Also, did you notice that her strap is missing in this shot? It's here. And it's, it's there. I think Mike Rowe went through and just erased it. Maybe she has a magic... I mean, she can transform into a cat, so presumably her, her bra strap can just come and go as it pleases. As well, needless to say, the centaur has a thing for Shakira. But Shakira clearly has a thing for the warlord. So she, uh, she, takes, she transforms back into her cat and climbs the rock spire. Because I guess that's one thing cats are good for. They can climb stuff. Unless you put jetpacks on their, on their backs. In which case they can fly through time and space. But that's, that's a different book. Oh wow. If I wasn't here right now, I wouldn't even believe this. The architecture isn't native Skartaran. But it's not Atlantean either. Somehow it seems older. And oh look, there's another beautiful woman with green hair. My name is Astarte. Her name should have been Absinthe. She kind of looks like the Green Fairy. Her strap is missing again in this shot. She transforms into a cat, goes after the Warlord, who's clearly in danger because of sea monkeys, which are still the creepiest ads ever from the 80s. And uh, Absinthe here decides to feed him some Absinthe, except, except it's red. And then, who should appear to save the Warlord but Shakira in cat form, who claws out her eyes. <laughs> This book, are you reading these yet? You've got to read The Warlord. It's amazing. This is like one of my favorite comic book series ever. And I've only recently discovered it. It just keeps getting better. But look at that cat's ripping her face off. It's awesome. Like, I just haven't been able to get into Omac yet. He looks like, uh, he looks like Namor. If Namor was having a bad hair day. And like, Namor's already having a bad hair. Anyway. The Warlord, issue number 37, highly recommended here on 80scomics.com. The whole series is phenomenal, and they're not that expensive to collect. So if you like Conan and some good classic old-school science fiction, you're going to love The Warlord. And if you don't, you just have bad taste in everything, because look at that. And look, she's, she's running away with her little cat collar. And check out, check out the back. You'll shoot your eye out, kid.